Are you trying to grow your YouTube channel? Do you feel like you're stuck? Your subscriber count is not going up. Things aren't panning out the way you want them to. Have you ever thought about doing YouTube shorts to get those numbers up? To start uh, making that subscriber count go higher and higher and higher? Well, I'll tell you what, don't do it. Do not do YouTube shorts if you are trying to have a serious YouTube channel because it's not gonna work out for you. So let me explain. I'm not really sure exactly when YouTube Shorts came out. I think it was about a year ago, right? So YouTube Shorts, of course, they're trying to compete with TikTok. Now, I'm really not sure why they're trying to compete with TikTok, because currently, as far as I know, TikTok uh, is not making money like they could. Their advertising system uh, stinks. I put up maybe one or two TikTok videos a week, and I don't even think I do that. I think it's more like one every two weeks. And I don't mess with TikTok because it's a waste of my time. It doesn't pay. Now, I wish that I had the time to make a quick TikTok for whatever, anything that I want to speak about, talk about, whatever. But it literally takes me, from the time that it takes me to do a TikTok video, I could just be working on YouTube. And YouTube, of course, is my bread and butter. Now, oftentimes, when you have a YouTube channel, right, you're going to want to, you know, see the numbers uh, go up. You're going to look at other uh, YouTube channels that are in the same genre as yours, and you're going to see that they have more subscribers than you, and you're going to want to keep up with the Joneses. And a lot of times, people think that YouTube Shorts is the way to go. However, it is not. And I'll tell you the reason why, and it's simply because people that watch your YouTube shorts, they subscribe to your channel because they wanna see more shorts. Nobody on YouTube subscribes to your channel after watching your shorts so they can watch a long form video. I believe that the, that the long form videos and the short vertical videos, it's too entirely vastly different audiences nobody that is like in love with shorts wants to watch long videos and people that watch long videos yeah they'll watch short videos because it doesn't take a lot of concentration to watch it but people that watch that really are into the law the the, the the vertical videos the short videos their attention spans are not really all that there and uh, that's really not the demographic of people that I'm trying to reach. I don't really want to reach people that have uh, a short attention span because sometimes my, sometimes my videos are, can be a little bit long. When I make videos, I try to get to the, the story as quickly as I can. I don't, uh, I don't uh, just babble on and on. You'll, you'll see a lot of YouTubers. Boy, they're, they are the master at the 28 minute video. Now, I'm not calling out any names, but I think we know some of these YouTubers that are out there. They will try to get as many commercials as they can, and they will try to keep you as long as possible. Little do they realize that most of you guys just fast forward to the ending part of the video. So who cares? And I don't try to do that unless the story is involved. If the, if the story is involved, then I have no choice but to tell it in, in uh as much detail as possible without going overboard. If you look at my channel, I think I'd like to say most of the videos are under 15 minutes. That's my, that's just the guess off the top of my head. And so YouTube shorts, you know, if I wanted to, and I do, and this is not saying much because it, it's quite easy. If I wanted to, I could have somebody cut up my YouTube videos into shorts and just upload shorts every day like five shorts a day and the the few youtube shorts videos that i've put up on my channel have gotten very good views some of them 200,000 some of them 100,000 so i so i know that all of my shorts would be would get good views 
and you can make a little bit of money on YouTube Shorts. Not much, but there, there's a little bit of money there. It ain't all. It ain't all that. Now, I think if I were to do that, just you know, hire somebody to, just to do YouTube Shorts for me, and put it up on my YouTube channel along with my long form horizontal videos, I could probably get to a million subscribers if I started doing that today, as the recording of this video, which is September 21st. I could probably get to a million subscribers by next summer now I've done the numbers I've looked at other people's channels that have a lot of shorts and they got some vertical videos and I, I did a quick uh, mathematical equation in my brain and basically this is how it works if I were to do this to get to a million subscribers on average my videos would only garner about 10,000 views more don't ask me how I got to that equation. I have no idea. All I know is that's what I got to 10,000 extra videos, but then I'm going to have a million subscribers. And to me, it's really not worth it. That reminds me, I got to go buy another can of mace. You never know, kids. You never know. Anyways, so you could do that, but see, what would I... What would happen is when you get a bunch of like subscribers that don't really subscribe to you, they just watch your shorts, they're not going to watch your long form videos. So what would end up happening is I would get a channel where I would have a million subscribers and the views wouldn't match the subscriber count. And uh, that's not what I'm looking for, because if you do that, if you let's say you buy your subscribers from a service because you think that they're actually real views they're not they're fake and you try to just do the youtube shorts what's going to end up happening is you're going to get people to watch your shorts but you're not going to get anybody to watch your long form videos and you're going to have a, a a bloated channel with a lot of subs and no views i've watched plenty of youtube channels that have 800,000 subscribers and they they'll put up a long form video it'll get like 15 20 000 views that's not what you want that would actually be my nightmare. <laughs> That's like a nightmare where I wake up and all my videos are getting like 20,000 views all the time. That's, yeah, that, that, you don't want that to happen. You know, you don't want, you don't need every video to hit. I'm not trying to do that. But, you know, you, you, want, you want views, of course. And any YouTuber that says that that's not true is full of crap. You want views. And I think what... Hopefully no alligator comes out and bites my ankle. So, basically, I think YouTube's problem with the shorts is just, it's just two totally different things. I think uh, YouTube should actually try and make the shorts a separate website. Just make it a separate app. Um, if YouTube did that, I would, I would upload YouTube shorts. But because they don't, uh, and they don't, and they're actually failing in the war with TikTok, I believe. I don't even think it's close. I think TikTok is just a juggernaut, and and YouTube is helpless to do anything about it. The only way I could see YouTube trying to compete with TikTok is by paying the creators, and you got to pay them for them to be able to upload. And I think what YouTube should have done is they should have done what Facebook kind of does. And it's like kind of combined the two to where, you know, instead of watching a one minute video, maybe someone makes a three minute video and puts a commercial and then there you go. The only reason why I still even pay attention to TikTok is in the event that you're actually able to make money on there where they all of a sudden, all of a sudden they'll say like, OK, uh, all videos that are vertical over five minutes, you can get a commercial. If they start doing that, I'll take TikTok seriously. But for then, until then, I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Blah, 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 blah. What am I doing with this channel? You know what, you know what's, you know why this channel is kind of suffering in my personal opinion? It's not suffering, I mean, it, it does okay. I'm not really pushing this channel. And that's because every time like that I've talked about a crime on here, I end up wanting to do it on Lamont at large and then I end up not doing it. 
and I end up just putting it in my folder for the future when I get to that location. If I could stop doing that, this channel, I could get this channel to 100,000. Jeez Louise, baby, come on. Yeah, she's uh, kind of kind of cute. All right, Infinity Girl. Uh, if you're watching my video, please holler, Infinity Girl. Anyways, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should uh, do more crimes on this channel. I like talking about stuff like that, but I don't know. Anyways, leave a comment below to tell me anything that you feel like telling me. I'll catch up with you on the next one. Peace out.